Good morning, and welcome to American Dad. We're watching American Dad today. Comment down below other American Dad episodes you want us to watch, and get this video to 13,000 likes if you want us to watch more of it. And if you guys want to see our uncut, uncensored, unepic reaction, then head over to patreon.com slash patreon.com slash patreon.com slash patreon.com. Eden, I agree with you. No one ever agrees with me, though. Cora, you're such a bull for that one. Can you put that randomly in the video editor? So I picked the episodes for this one. I picked the top three highest rated episodes on IMDb. We were doing it the wrong way. IMDb doesn't understand what makes a good American Dad episode, okay? You should have gone to Reddit. We'll watch IMDb's highest rated, Reddit's highest rated, 4chan's highest rated. China's highest rated. China loves this show. Do they have like a ripoff like Chinese Dad? Because I would love to watch that. <laughs> Oh, this episode is great. We're watching this just in time for Christmas, so I'm excited. God pays twice as much attention on Christmas, like the media when a white kid goes missing. Should have been a cutaway gag. If we were watching a good fucking show, it would have been a cutaway gag there, Stan. A cutaway to a 20-minute short film about a white kid being kidnapped. <laughs> Joy to the World does go fucking hard. It's like bringing out Shake It Off at the party. Like, everybody's gonna be singing along. Here, I have an idea. Let's f*** in the goddamn <laughs> Let's f*** in this closet. Oh Look at her eyes. God. Look at her eyes, bro. I had the biggest crush on Francine. Dude, Francine is literally the number one character on a certain website that is known for creating art. What's going on? Oh, the rapture <laughs> there you know, Everyone got raptured. Everybody got raptured. Them. Turns out there is a god. And the priest didn't go up there. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many people. Okay, like, realistically speaking, not that many people are going to heaven. I feel like I watched this episode, like, around the time I stopped believing in, in, in like, religion. Wait, you don't believe? You don't believe in our Lord and Savior? I'm open to a new religion if you if you want to indoctrinate me, bro. I'm pretty, uh... I've got some great cults I can get you into. Okay, Steve and Haley Smith, your personal heavens are ready. Personal heavens? Yeah. Dude, we're gonna have to censor this entire episode on YouTube, bro. Why? They're censoring it themselves. I feel like YouTube will probably just be more strict. That's right. Jesus has returned to Earth. And tonight he'll be at the Langley Falls Civic Arena where he'll brief mankind on his upcoming battle with the Antichrist. That's it. What's he doing at the Langley Falls? Why? He's not going to, like, touch base downtown? Look, I didn't want to do it. She seduced me. He just threw his wife de under the bus, and the bus is eternal damnation. That's evil. Later, world. Smell my ass. Wait. <laughs> You're still bringing him to heaven after that. I hated that. I hated that so much. This show is so funny, bro. This show is so funny. In fact, you never have to worry about that again, because we're through. Oh, Francine! Why is bro saying it like that? Bro's dead ass acting like he's like, come on, man, you're making a big deal out of this. Like, he wasn't about to just, like, leave her to rot for all of eternity. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> Meet you. Oh my god. Is that Matt Damon? I'm Matt Damon. I love Soul. It's been like 30 minutes since she's already found a new man. <laughs> this joke is insane. The assault, bro. <laughs> the assault is insane. <laughs> You're laughing like you're like like you're like a old Mexican lady. What the hell does that mean? What do old Mexican ladies laugh like? Like you. <laughs> because I found Jesus, Stan, the real Jesus. She, oh, dude, he is so deep, Stan. I don't know. Oh my God. You're done. You're done for, bro. The real Jesus. Hi, Stan. Jesus is even more white than we thought. I was gonna comment on the previous Jesus being really white, but then they made a more white Jesus. Even whiter. He has like the white dude fucking working on Wall Street haircut too. This looks so good. It looks so good. And then it just goes back to Family Guy art style. It's so funny, bro. Hello, Stan. Is it Berserk reference? I don't think it's Berserk. Then why is he only got one hand? That's like Gatsu, dude. Does Guts have a fucking hook hand? <laughs> I don't think it's a fucking hook. Can someone in the com in the chat tell us what this is parodying so we can say it in the video so we don't get a million comments about it? Hasbin Hotel, Lord of the Rings, Family Hockey Guy, Playtime. Well, that's just it, Stan. Francine, the Antichrist got her. 
Dude, Francine's being tossed around, bro. She's being tossed around here and there, bro. What if the Antichrist just is Roger? That would make so much sense for the show. Roger is just inherently evil. What makes you think you can trust me? Because I know you fought against his kind. Close! Look at Close in the- uh, Actually good, He's honestly. I didn't really fuck with him that much. No, Klaus is not that good of a character. Shut up. You guys are fucking assholes. I just don't appreciate his moral compass. Oh, but you you appreciate Stan's moral compass. He seems to be a really great guy. Stan is a true American patriot at the end of the day, okay? I always knew you'd breeze back through my door. Roger, meet Jesus. When my army laid siege at the Battle of Boca Raton, they found this. Oh, the golden shit. Wait, is this the start of the golden shit lore? Yo, if you guys want to watch the golden turd saga, get this video to 20,000 likes. You know, I would love to, but that also sounds like the worst thing I've ever heard. Core, the thing about American Dad that you need to understand is that the majority of episodes are exactly like this. It's a very plot-centric series, okay? You have to pay attention to every detail. You really have to follow the narrative. You should be taking notes. Shit, okay, okay, okay. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Child murder. And I guess I just picked a whole bouquet of oopsie daisies. <laughs> <laughs> what an insane line. That's kind of hard as hell. This is it. The lair of the Antichrist. What if the Antichrist is just like Timothy Chalamet or something? Just like in real life? Dude, you've been bringing up a house timothy chalamet is in like every video we've uploaded for the past month jack well you know dune 2 bro dune 2 is out i gotta reference something relevant sorry do-gooders <laughs> the antichrist wait the antichrist just like is it a gay bald guy i'm the antichrist i'm the opposite of jesus in every way <laughs> i like the the kind of upside down cross on his kind of goes hard though <laughs> it's pretty cool i do like that like i respect it Oh, he took the shot for Jesus. <laughs> the way he I wish I could go back and change the man I was. What is this sexy sax music, bro? Jesus is, is, is objectively the greatest man ever. Like, Stan deserves to die. Merry Christmas, Mr. and Mrs. Jesus. <laughs> what a hard line. He was so happy to have his wife get by Jesus. And to be honest, that makes sense. If there's any man I want to fuck my wife, it's probably Jesus. Well, because I remember, like, that was a the thing they say, like, a marriage is like a three way bond with God. Like, you're inadvertently just like, God's just cucking you. Like, anytime if you're religious. Like, that's just a part of the deal. Honey, I'm wearing my new dress. Ah, do you see this ending? His heaven is just being with his family. And Klaus is still dead. So is he just dead for the rest of the show, bro? The theory is that there's alternate timelines going on. Oh my God, no, not the timelines. No, no. They confirmed the American Dead multiverse in a recent episode. No, no, no. That sounds awful. Never say those words again. What the hell is oh happening? Oh my god, fall out! Fall out! Does Seth MacFarlane just really like doing post-apocalyptic episodes? I feel like that's like a recurring trend. Stan, don't! It's me! Oh, wait, the principal. Fire's a bad idea. Relax, Stan. There's two of us, and it's nice and warm. This is who they decide to have with him in this aesthetic episode? The principal of the school? The principal's awesome. Well, he's like the most aesthetic character. It was the end of fishing season. And the sun. I can remember how warm it felt on my face. This was like two weeks ago. Why did you want to come on this trip so bad again? Yeah, don't you have like a moral objection to fishing or something? Bro, why are you here? You should be the bait, Klaus. Fuck you. Whoa. Will you live free? <laughs> this one, though, definitely lives free. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking bird coming out of the water is awesome. Well, birds gotta eat, bro. This show being as old as it is, is like kind of strange because I feel like, like Stan's daughter was like a character type of the time when the show was created. But now like that hippie stoner character like isn't really used that often nowadays. Well, it's different now, yeah. Yeah, they're rare sighting. They're an endangered species. She would be a different kind of hippie stoner teenager. You know what I mean? Like they definitely would have given her pronouns. Like she didn't have pronouns before, but they would have given them to her if the show came out this year. 
Dan, I thought that was you. Oh my god, it's Terry. Who the hell is Terry, dude? Can you explain? You haven't seen the show, fake fan. I need to know every single little fact about the show to have watched the show before. Yes, it's a plot-driven show. You gotta pay attention. Where's your notes at, bro? I should have taken notes on that. I've been taking notes. I've been taking notes. If they were in New Haven, Connecticut, they'd be dead already. Of boredom. JK, I've never been there. I just think it's more important now than ever to try to laugh. <laughs> I like this guy. Hundred. Clear out, y'all. You'll run faster without your stuff. He's so gay. Roger is the gayest character in, in any media, I think. <laughs> they leave, right? <laughs> Why? He was on your back. He took him off of his back. Don't beat yourself up. He was a liability slowing us down. <gasps> What? This, this is like when you want to hang out with your friends, but that one guy shows up and no one no one can tell him that no one actually wants to hang out with that one guy. If you've never experienced that, that means you are that guy. You are that guy that no one wants to hang out with. I'm glad you're here, Eden. I'm really glad you're here, actually. I just want you to know. Corey, you're such an asshole for that one. Thursday morning, trash day. We were having a very hot August, which was unusual. Unusual? August August is- what? August is always hot. Dude, I'm telling you, if you just redo Roger's lines in the Ted voice, basically every line would fit coming out of Ted's mouth, okay? Does that mean that Ted is gay? Yes. Yo, oh, this is awesome, bro. I love my American suburban living references, dude. As someone who's lived in a single family, family housing unit before, like, I highly relate to this situation right now. Wait, she, she picked, picked up it back all up? It. That's why she's the greatest woman to ever exist. Any other person on the planet would just leave their trash, let it pollute into the fucking environment, but she actually picked it up. He's gonna end up being there. She's gonna be like, guys, I'm okay, actually. He was the weakest. Hey, guys. I managed to wrestle away his knife and kill him. Oh my god. Greg is so powerful. Like, the gay characters are, like, parascaled, like, so much higher. I think the more... You suck, like, the more power you get. I think gay people are just stronger than straight people. We gotta get out of here. This guy is gonna eat us. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. <sighs> what? The last words he ever said to his family. See ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. That's based. Never bring a gun to a bird fight. That was hard. No way, That dude, was hard. No I got that way. tattooed on my back, actually. Just like Stan. My kids are alive and capable. And the cart's moving! Oh my god, but then Francine! Francine lifted the garbage can so she's gonna save them. Francine! Look at her! Where did she come from? She appeared! She fucking fell down from the heavens. Oh my god, Wait, it's, it's not all Steve's ex-girlfriend. All my favorite characters from this show that I have seen many episodes of. I forgot how many dumb characters there are in this show. They're, the majority of them are stupid characters. Rogers? All the Rogers personalities. 200 me's? I don't understand. Oh, right. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a funny moment. Can we go in there? Good lord, no. That would be wildly dangerous. But he's in there. Is that Stephen Merchant? Definitely. He's merching right now. He's merching, bro. Ow. 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 Here. So Rogers, the reason everything went. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. How do you live with that guilt? I mean, he must have like erased it in his own memory. Roger has no moral compass, bro. Roger is like an inherently bad person. Your penguin, Jojo Quinoa, Michael Corbin, the light man, Dan Ansem, handsome. Are no, this is big mouth. No, it's not. This is just one long big mouth moment, okay? Like the character design of all the different Rogers just remind me of big mouth for some reason. Don't compare it to big mouth. It's definitely more South Park. Dude, you just don't want to admit that it's, it's big mouth. I mean, this is like South Park where like the entire joke is that it's referencing something from before. Woo! They had to find a way to put him in the episode. They, they didn't know how, so. And that what? He rebuilds America. <laughs> Why is she work in the fields though? She looks like she's fucking 70 years old. Don't let Roger and a Hadron Collider. I need to be watched very closely. 
I don't think I like American Dad very much. I'm not gonna lie. Family Guy better. Early Family Guy is better, but American Dad is more consistent. I, I just feel like these episodes are not the norm. So none of these are like typical episodes of the show. I mean, we watched the last batch too. I didn't really like those either. Yeah, but those were old. Those were old 9-11 era episodes that just all reference the same jokes about 9-11. I just don't think I vibe that much with this show's like style of comedy. Corey, you're such an asshole for that one. Tomorrow's Big Trash Day, the garbage men's favorite day of the year. But this is Big Trash Eve. Why is he kind of looking like a YouTube reactor, though? Roger's kind of giving, like, spilling the milk reject. Don't, 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 don't. Ah, so heavy, so splintery. What the fuck is he bringing in, dude? The couch has been put on notice. Oh. Aww. What the fuck? That's adorable. What the fuck? Ew. You guys just fucking cried when Baby Yoda came on screen, but Baby Roger, an alien that's a baby, you guys don't like it? Well, Baby Yoda's special because he's just, he's so cute and so funny, and the show he's in is really good. Baby fucking Roger is the cutest little patootie I've ever seen. <laughs> what a blast. It's a party down here. Dude, you can play the greatest game of Melee on this, I swear to God. I certainly don't envy the people who were like well off enough to have a really big CRT back in the day and then had to find a way to get rid of that thing. And they also emit like a very high pitched frequency whine sound that is like terrifyingly annoying. That's okay, dude. Once you own one for long enough, you stop hearing that noise. Shh, don't wake up the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Core, how do you not laugh at that? I didn't think it was very funny. Core, I agree with you. But do CRTs only get old channels? Like, imagine what a 16 by 9 show would look like on this TV. I think they just zoom oh, out, no. little bro. But then you have giant black bars at the bottom and top. Which makes everything cinematic. Yeah, Sounds like a good idea to me. Little things, little differences in the show. I keep track of them. Where's everybody else? Th he's just joining a cult. Like, considering the last two episodes, that would be keeping in line with everything so far. Is... Is that... It couldn't be. Tuttle? He's in the show. So do the people that enter the group enter the show afterwards? The concept for this episode is so bizarre. This is like a Black Mirror episode, actually. Well, <laughs> it actually is. But maybe every time. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, this show just has the best jokes. I swear to God. I must go in. Persona 4. <laughs> I'd prefer if they did it the Persona 3 way. I don't get either. Because you like, you like kill yourself in Persona 3, but you go in like the TV in Persona 4. I saw him. Tuttle was inside the TV. Stan. Stan is just so genuinely like uncomfortable by Baby Roger. Like they, they just like don't focus on the B plot at all. Like there's no B plot in this episode. Wait, there's a new woman. It's different women in each ep. What the fuck is this? This is such an interesting concept. Hmm. Cannonball! Let's go. Like Mario 64. Yahoo! I'm so relieved I'm not crazy. It was just a magic TV, that's all. This is interesting. Is, is this just gonna be like some fucking weird like hallucination? You don't like it here? Let's just go. We can't. We're trapped here forever. Ooh. Does forever include this weekend? Because the BET awards are on. <laughs> <laughs> no way Stan fucks with the BET like that. No way. Of course he does. It's not lighting up. It's not lighting up. Uh, Bro, the evil ass motherfucker, dude. What happens at commercial? And we're clear to commercial. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> ah! It's a good thing I'm clearly irreplaceable and integral to this show.
And then it cuts the commercial after that to insinuate that that's what's happening to Stan. It's breaking the fourth wall and it's self-aware that it's breaking the fourth wall. So Cinema. it's literally like breaking the fifth and third and second and first and sixth wall at the same time. Rick and Morty could never. I'm going to be honest, Rick and Morty could never. Rick and Morty could never do this because American Dad already did it. Do you hear that guy say, don't eat me? That makes me think Alistair ate him. Alistair? From Alistair from Hell of a Boss? Wait. Alistair? He's in both episodes because we had Jesus before. Oh my god, oh my god. Alistair theory goes crazy in this show. They're finally making good content in this show. This episode, it's like it's like the plot of the episode is actually interesting. So are American Dad episodes generally this level of surreal? No. There are a lot of surreal episodes, but most of them are kind of just stupid. It's normally just like Family Guy, basically. Beloved ones, I'm home! Welcome back, Nighthawks. We've been expecting you. No way. Oh shit, the baddie breaks it. Oh my god. It's not even that bad. It's like sexy women, cigarettes, alcohol, chill jazz music. Maybe this is him going to heaven. This is the universe where Stan died and went to heaven. Stan, are you okay? You're wearing the wall like a hat. Oh, oh my god. All they have to do is break the fucking wall. This is the way out. Oh, that's so aesthetically pleasing. Like the static spilling onto the floor like a puddle. Because it's it feels like sand. It's like it falls out like it's just like a, you're in a time machine or like. The oh, I love the way this looks. <laughs> this is like Coraline. This is like Coraline when like the other mother's trying to get out. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? I almost went down there. <laughs> <laughs> Roger's not a baby anymore. They're eating KFC. They got over the plot line so quickly. I want to raise this child. Daddy's here. I'm not doing that anymore. Thank God. <laughs> no! That's right. American Dad is now a show that exists on TV in the basement of the family of American Dad. What? <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so many layers. What the fuck? There's so many layers. That literally is just a Twilight Zone ending twist, though. We watched some crazy episodes today, I'm not gonna lie. Remember to comment down below other American Dad episodes you want us to watch and get this video to 13,000 likes and check out the Patreon for the uncut, uncensored video and exclusive videos like Avatar and Revenge of the Island Total Drama. Thanks to our patrons. Aeromare, Alex McLean, Alzheimer's is a bad disease, we should cure it. Andrew Husky, Arachnidroid, Aaron Tates, and Atomic Leon Bento, Blake Rivera, Kane Rivers, Tom Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Grenados, Gub Stargazer, Gunny Snile Yernison, Happy and Egg, Helio, Histrionics Ribbler, Honor Pearson, Hummus, Hydropon, Isaiah Alfred, K99, Kamui, King of the Street, Lilac Moon, Loka Pegged, Brett Hand, Michael Rodriguez, Milan Zekanovic, Merck, Native, Omega Waffles, Oscar Annis, Pablo the God, Patrick Case Randolph, Pizza Loving Panda, R. Dizel, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Rothoka, Quinn Christian, Sam, Skyler is Milk's Mama, Kieran Sills, Tyler Russell, Valley Explicit, Victoria.